Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. How did you manage to get to Tony D'Orazio? I had bugs and wiretaps all over the damn place. When that weirdo left the Royal Hotel to deal with one of his men, I was listening. I didn't know you was coming. I'm just packing away your latest shipment. How long have you been running this business, Joe? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Five, six years? Five years, three months, and 18 days. Well, this is turned. Look, I, I know I've been lied, but it ain't my fault. I've always placed a premium on maintaining order. If you let the rot set in, Eventually, it will take hold and destroy everything you've built. The only solution is to isolate it, eradicate it before it takes hold. You understand, Joe? Christ, Donnie, you gotta listen to me. Some nuts out there shooting hell out of everything. You know how many of my men he killed? Yes. Dominic, is it? You will take the armored car and personally oversee the collection of all outstanding monies owed to us. Am I clear on this? Y yes, Mr. Razio. Once you have collected what is due, deliver it directly to me at the hotel. The code to the elevator is 0451. From there, Lincoln had a couple of options. He could use the elevator code and go into the lobby, which meant shooting the hell out of the place. Or he could steal Dominic's car and go in quiet to the hotel's parking garage. When you're in the hotel, grab a couple of those little fancy soaps. <laughs> they won't give me any more at the motel. You see a welcome sign anywhere? Last two short. What's mm. taking so long? Right. I give it a month. Give what a month? What are you whispering for? Folk Tony asked Dominic. That's fucked up, man. I give him six months, at least. Well, ain't welcome ah. here, numb nuts. Oh. Spotted him, come! Oof.
Dominic. Park anywhere. <laughs> I was gone for a minute. Tony wouldn't mind. Wait! Mr. D'Orazio, how long you been here? A month? <laughs> Mr. D'Orazio ain't the second chance. Holy oh, oh. Dead boy. Dead. Don't you know you're dead? Time to die, Prick! Shouldn't have come here. We're dropping like fucking flies! Fuck! Get him! I'm about down another man! Fine on that piece of shit! It would be difficult not to. What? I've already taken the appropriate steps to address the situation. Believe me, things are well in hand. Well, they fucking better be. If this thing with the judge goes sideways, shit's gonna roll downhill real fucking quick. We haven't lost anything of any significance except for some men. And they can be replaced. In fact, they're the easiest thing to replace. Someone doesn't give two shits about any of those stupid fucks. All he cares about is the people that matter. Understand? I understand completely. And you have my word that all payments will continue as scheduled. None of our business associates need to concern themselves with our recent difficulties. Yeah? Okay. I'm counting on you here, Tony. Don't fuck this up. Goodbye. You should clear on out of here. Oh! Okay, here's the thing, Congressman. When Mr. D'Orazio made his very generous contribution to your campaign... <laughs> oh, shit, right now? Okay, okay. Here's what I want you to do. Follow him, see if you can get any pictures of him. Okay, how about this one? I know this son of bitch has been dead since 64. <clears throat> this is the way you die! Us. He's all that damnation! <clears throat> Fuck that oh. boy up! Oh. Get out of here! This is your day to die! Get behind him! Get that stupid son of a bitch! You got a score to settle now! Look, you need 
think that scares me. Stop! Ah! Hey. Was worried I wouldn't get to shoot nobody. Spotted him. Come on. Ain't no way you're getting past here, boy. Hey, over here! Getting behind something. Here! Over uh. here! You got him! Get over here! Get out of here! He's fucking dropping us! Spatter one, Go boys! Motherfucker. I'm dropping like fucking flies! Off me! I'm not ready to die. I'm not fucking Get ready. Get out of here. Ah. That fucking oil. Ah. That's loud, dipshit. Ah. Out of ammo. I've got to reload. Circle round him. So Get that stupid son of a bitch. Ah. Let's go! Got me left for me, cocksucker! I'm not ready. Cover my die. ass! I'm not fucking ready, man. Shouldn't have come here. Firing on that piece of. Audacious, aren't you? Filthy fucking mongrel. Whoever you are, you made oh. do you have You really think you know how all this is gonna play out, don't you? <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> Go ahead. <coughs> Kill me. I'll be replaced tomorrow. <laughs> no one will even notice. You're wrong. Everyone will notice. <laughs> War on the streets of our fair city is a gunman stormed the Royal Hotel, killing an untold number of men. There was a loud crash, like a bomb going off. I looked up and there was a man falling from the top of the building. Then all these men showed up and every one of them had a gun. They ran into the Royal and that's when the shooting started. <laughs> I still don't know how the hell Lincoln got out of that hotel. Still alive. Hush. Whoever you are, you did real good getting up here. 
But Lima's gonna be a different story. Yeah, just come on out now. Till I find you. Keep your guns in that goddamn elevator. Get up and see if he's still in there. How are you? How you doing, ma'am? Grenade! You've got lots of patience. Shots fired! 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 Slip behind him! Guess that's that, Dan. Go check if he's hiding back there. I look, but I don't like it. Only so many places to hide, partner. It's all yours, boy. <laughs> intensifying their search for the colored male believed to be responsible for the massacre at the Royal Hotel. The suspect is described as six feet, three inches, and is believed They're to be saying armed. you threw Tony off the roof of the Royal? Actually, it was through his penthouse window. You always had a flair for the dramatic. Tony's ledger. Last couple pages are pretty interesting. Any idea what US 5CJ means? Wait a minute. Holy shit. Why is Lou willing to calm 10 grand a month at a brothel and the same at a drug den? Based on what Greco told me in Scaletta, Marcano's laying out a bunch of money to get gambling legalized. And if that's what you're after, 
Who better to have in your pocket? Than a judge on the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, US 5CJ. Exactly. There have to be over 20 judges on that bench. Could be any one of them. The kind of man we're talking about isn't used to people getting into his business. I start visiting the places listed in that ledger, he'll panic and go to Lou for help. And that's when we'll find out who he is. Keep that wiretap running. Never turn it off.